Hello everyone and welcome. Do you ever wonder how a heavy airplane is able to fly and stay up in the air without falling to the ground? Well, today I'm going to explain how the shape of an airplane wing and something called Bernoulli's principle help an airplane fly. So let's begin. How do airplane wings help an airplane fly? Well, let's look at wing shape. If you look at the, shape, at the wings of just about any airplane, you will notice they are not flat. While some wings come in a variety of shapes, most planes have curved wings like the one shown here. So, why is wing shape important? Since an airplane's wings are curved, air that passes over the wing travels further than the air that passes under the wing. However, the air passing over the wing reaches the back of the wing at the same time as the air passing under it. This means it has to travel faster to cover a greater distance in the same amount of time. This brings us to a man named Bernoulli, Daniel Bernoulli. He was a Swiss mathematician who showed that a liquid or a gas creates less pressure as its speed increases. This principle is called Bernoulli's principle. So what does Bernoulli's principle have to do with achieving, flight, li achieving lift of an airplane, you might wonder? This is how it works. Air moves faster as it travels over a curved wing. Bernoulli's principle explains that air creates less pressure as its speed increases. The pressure above the wing falls and the wing is pushed upward by the higher pressure air flowing underneath it. The wing is lifted up as a result. To gain a better understanding of Bernoulli's principle, check out the table at the bottom as we look at the explanation. So, again, to summarize, with an airplane, air moves faster as it travels over the top of a curved wing. This causes the air pressure above the wing to fall. The wing is pushed upward by the higher pressure air flowing underneath it and is lifted up. As we can see, Daniel Bernoulli explained lift long before the first airplane ever left the ground. Finally, here's some activities uh, you can try at home. The first one is to write an explanation of Bernoulli's principle in your own words. Remember to include a labeled diagram. And number two is try performing the following activity to demonstrate Bernoulli's principle. This is the paper against your lip demonstration. You can start by cutting out a piece of light using a piece of lightweight paper. Um, and measuring it to be about 5 centimeters wide and 12 centimeters long. Hold the paper so that one of the short edges is touching your lower lip. Blow across the top of the strip. Observe what happens. Record your findings. You can find additional information on Bernoulli's principle on our class website under the resource section. See you in class.